Hey, Tara, knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange and glad. We won't have to see the president's dick. Well, we will, though. We will, though. God damn it. We will, though. We will. It's oh. a matter of when, not if. On that horrible note, let's get the intro running. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead, our audience, but on the worldwide interwebs, trying all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? Hey, it's a kitty. Hi, Peggy. Peggy doesn't She's want to see my feet, so I think that means she wants to be on the internet, don't you? No, she doesn't. No, I, I really don't. Oh, did you hear that little squeak? Hi. I don't understand what's happening, and I don't like it. Oh! <gasps> I heard it. Are you telling me off? She really shittered at you. Oh, baby. All right. Okay. <sighs> like, leave me the fuck alone. Mom! Ah. Uh, so... Uh, do you remember that old, uh, old, old Jim Croce song? You don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't spit into the wind. You don't mess around with the old Lone Ranger. And, most importantly... Lone Ranger? I thought it was something about a junkyard dog. No. You, you, you don't fuck with Rihanna. No, you fucking don't. So, in case you haven't been following this one, Snapchat this week, whose uh, whose star has faded somewhat in the social media sphere, <gasps> Snapchat released a uh, a little mini game type thing, little advertising um, that asked, "Would you rather slap Rihanna or punch Chris Brown?" Come on. That's super hilarious, considering Chris Brown beat the shit out of her on the way to a Grammy party a few years back. So, guess what happened? Rihanna bought them out and fired everybody? No. R better. Rihanna uh, got on social media, and she pretty much pulled a, uh, um, sh her quote, shame on you, throw away the whole app-ology away. Shares in Snapchat dropped almost 5% overnight. Wiped out $1 billion off Snapchat's valuation. Yeah, you don't get to fuck with Rihanna. Like, what? you don't get to fuck Bill with Beyonce, and you don't get to fuck with Rihanna. One bit. All just all from Rihanna being able to... Did you really think this was going to go your way, Snapchat? Fucking idiots. This, this, like Kim Kardashian keeps trying to copy shit from Rihanna's makeup line, and it's not working because Rihanna's makeup line is actually really good. Like the foundation is fantastic, and Kim Kardashian keeps trying to blatantly rip shit off, but her shit is really bad. Well, just in in this equation, your Snapchat, you're a you're a fucking tech company, and you think, what is she gonna do to us? We're worth like, billions. You how idiots. Did this was going to go. Yeah. Did did you really think people were going to be down with this? Hey, no, you want to so slap great. Rihanna? Social media fucking with with celebrities who are really powerful on social media. Because Rihanna is one of those celebrities that uses her social media. Yeah, they're they're, they're under the the strange. I think YouTube. So uh, pretty much every social media suffers this. They're under the strange misconception that because they provide the platform. They're the reason people are there. Yeah, no. The no, no one comes to the for the platform. They come for the people on the platform. You fuck with the people it's, like yeah. Instagram and Facebook now pretty much have all of Snapchat's features. Yeah. Well, Facebook's not going to be around much longer. No, Facebook is uh they didn't fuck with Rihanna, but they're also totally buggered. They're in trouble. <laughs> oh. That's yeah. They, they this it's it's a it's a wonderful wonderful time to be alive, isn't it? I hope Mark Zuckerberg invested well. 
So you remember a few uh, weeks back, we had that fellow who uh, tried to order breakfast from an ATM for a bank teller? Yeah. Well, I don't know how these happen so close together, but guess what? Shit happened again, only worse. This is definitely a hold my beer. Woman mistakes jail security booth for drive through tries to order breakfast sandwich, gets arrested. My mom used to work at this jail. Suffolk County? Riverhead Jail, that my mom used to work there. <laughs> my mother was a substance abuse counselor, and she worked at the fucking Riverhead County Jail. Oh, a woman mistook a jail security booth for a fast food drive through attempted to order a breakfast sandwich, and ended up in handcuffs. Police say uh, Lisbeth Ildefonso, 44, drove up to Riverhead Correctional Facility around 10, 12 a.m., and tried to place an order for a, quote, bacon, egg, and cheese. Deputy Sheriff Yvonne DeCaro informed Ildefonso she was at the correctional facility, not a drive through Quote, the driver insisted she really wanted a sandwich. That's great. We don't, I mean, we have them here, but there are certain requirements <laughs> to get access to them. It's like, okay, you really want a sandwich? We can set you up, but there's, then, some, there's some strings. Sheriff's office said. Uh, Sheriff's office said Deputy DeCaro noted that Ildefonso's pupils were dilated, her eyes were glassy, and she had a white powder residue in her left nostril. Oh no! Ildefonso was arrested after she performed poorly on standardized sobriety tests. Was found to be driving without a valid license. Well. Then you pass the criteria to acquire a sandwich from that facility. You did. They will. They will give you a breakfast sandwich. They will. It's probably not going to be that good. No, it's not. And let and me tell you, you're going to have to wait a couple hours while they process you. And the ambiance leaves a bit to be desired, shall we yeah. say? There is no playland. It's definitely a one-star Yelp review. I would yeah. say their service. It's not great. Um. I just no drugs and no license. I mean, god damn it. How high are you? And you to, pulled up to the fucking jail. To the jail. That's just bad luck. There man. is no signage on the jail that indicates breakfast. I know, like fast food places are really colorful and cheerful. Yeah. And covered in bright, bold, obnoxious things. And there's a fucking jail? menu tend to be really gray. How high were you? Like a nondescript. What the fuck were you hallucinating that you saw a fucking breakfast, you know, fucking sign that says breakfast time? It's not the Waffle House. Hell, even the Waffle House don't do drive through No. And it's funny because the bacon, egg, and cheese, all one word, <laughs> is a staple of the Northeast, you know, tri-state diet. Any oh. fucking deli or bodega in, certainly in New York City, but in a lot of the outer areas, you can walk in and say a bacon, egg, and cheese, all one word. Bacon, you egg, and fried cheese. Fried egg, bacon, American cheese on, what are those squishy buns called? English muffin? No, it's like a squishy bun with poppy seeds. The top's like a spiral. They call maybe they call it a hard roll, but it's not actually hard. They're squishy. Kaiser? It's not Kaiser. Maybe it's like a Kaiser roll. It's like bread. It's like a big it's the same thing they make a buttered roll out of, but that's also kind of native to this area. So I don't know if a buttered roll means anything to anyone else. Cause also at every 7 Eleven uh, deli, whatever gas station, you can get one of those rolls with just butter on it wrapped in saran wrap. Okay, but the place you can't is, is jail. jail. That's yeah. that's there's no one ever. Well, where I was going with that is the kind of places where you just walk up and say bacon, egg, and cheese. They don't have a drive-through because <laughs> they're like delis and stuff. So yeah. Well, let's move on to Minnesota, and this is one of those. Have okay. 
Have you ever been out in public and seen something and had just this crazy idea? And you'd never do it, but the idea pops into your head. Like, you know, you, you're, driving, you, you're driving down through a neighborhood, you see a really fucking ugly mailbox, and you're like, I would love to take a two-by-four of that thing as I'm passing by. Yeah. You, you'd never do it, but you think it. It pops into your head. The moment of op- and it passes. I have and- often wished I could carry a blade to pop lawn inflatables. Because I have fucking feelings about lawn and <laughs> And I would just love to just drive down a road. Bam, 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 bam. But you don't do it. You don't no, do it. I don't. How well, satisfying though it may be. This guy lacked that self-control. Man crashes stolen snowmobile into party store to steal smokes. At the party store? A pin conning man is in jail after allegedly employing a novel method of burglarizing a party store. I am assuming that includes alcohol. Uh, Police say he crashed a stolen snowmobile through the business's front door, then stole a bunch of cigarettes and lottery tickets. At a party store? It's Minnesota. I don't know. That sounds like a convenience store. Are they the same thing in Minnesota? I don't know. 12.40 12.40 a.m. on Tuesday, Bay County Sheriff's uh, deputies uh, responded to an alarm at Dora's Party Store, um, East Beaver Road. Upon arrival, deputies saw the front door had been smashed that someone had entered the building. The intruder made off with cigarettes and lottery tickets. Deputies noticed sm- snowmobile tracks leading away from the scene. As they investigated, they were alerted that a snowmobile had crashed into a ditch about a half mile away. Deputies went to the crash site and spotted the snowmobile's rider, who took off running. Deputies pursued and caught the man. Uh, he was identified as 38-year-old Michael P. Stark, and that's, I guess, I guess he was the um, the the the, uh, the Stark brother they don't talk about. Yeah. In the movies, um, I'm still on. Like when I think of a party store, I think they sell like balloons, <laughs> Halloween costumes. Well, it's different, Kara. Yeah. Oh, okay. In the northern Midwest, a party store is basically a convenience store that mostly sells alcohol. Um, So here we call that a liquor store. (laughs) Deputies also learned the snowmobile had been stolen off a trailer at a residence within a few miles of the party store. So what happened was this guy's going by, spots a snowmobile, and thinks to himself, you know, I could take that snowmobile, crash it through the party store. Perfect plan. And then just drive off on the snowmobile. I'll be fine. Yeah. And most of us would do this, have, have that run through our head and go, It's the perfect crime. Most of us would think that and go, No, I'm not going to do that. That's a crazy idea. It's, it's ridiculous. It's funny to think about, but. That part of his brain was just about to say, now hang on a second, when he was already on the back of a fucking snowmobile. Also, the fact he apparently doesn't know how to ride a snowmobile because he crashed it and tried to (laughs) run away. Yeah. So. Did you see the pictures from the Dublin St. Patrick's Day Parade? I did not. So the Dublin St. Patrick's Day Parade, the grocery store Lidl had a float. Guess what their float was of? It was of a fucking excavator tearing out the roof of one of their stores. Nice. Nice. And I respected that. At least they have a little, yeah, they have a sense of humor about it. Yeah. Oh, okay. This reminded me of that. All right. So we often have these, these stories about a thief trying to get away from the cops. And... This guy had one perfect moment where he might have escaped them. Let me, let, let's read you the story and see if you can figure out where he went wrong. Suspect tries to escape deputies by jumping into lake. Which, that's the end. We'll get there. I mean, if you're the dude from Shape of Water, then that's a great plan. Uh, an Orange County man was taken to hospital after trying to escape deputies by jumping into a lake. The incident happened early Sunday near Orange Blossom Trail. According to the sheriff's office, the suspect attempted to steal a car, 
and then he took off on foot. So he's trying to steal a car, he fucks that up, he runs away. During the foot pursuit, the suspect picked up a bicycle. Boom! There's your quick escape. On a bicycle, you can be faster than people trying to chase you on foot. So, he threw it at a deputy. <laughs> You suck at Grand Theft Auto. Police say the man ran through uh, Rene Viamonde's backyard and jumped into Lake Holden. Police then jumped into Lake Holden. Uh, suspect jumped into Lake Holden to hide from deputies. Helicopter was used to suspect them. He was pulled from the water and handcuffed. They had him in the boat, handcuffed, and he jumped back in the water. Now, one of the things about being in the water is you have to swim. And to swim, you need That's knees. That's really tough when you're handcuffed, yeah. I, so at every given opportunity along this wonderful <laughs> little... <laughs> dumbest possible thing. He just... First off, he couldn't steal the car. Yeah. Okay, some, some people just aren't built for stealing cars. But then he's trying to escape. He has a getaway vehicle. And he decides it's a melee he weapon. It's a melee weapon. I, Dan, have you? What are the bonus stats on a on a plus three bicycle? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, man! An idea. <laughs> we should bulky and <laughs> stupid. We should ask the uh, FC that next game. Yeah, <laughs> if that's a good improvised weapon. Oh, uh, and then finally he they catch him. He's he jumps in a lake. It's a lake. Where are you gonna go? Yeah, it does have a border. But then he tried. Then he has him handcuffed. He's like, no, no. Let me give the lake another shot. <laughs> I think <laughs> I got no it this time. this time. Look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> you can't swim that way. You can't even tread water that way. You can't even dead man's float that way. We're just okay. I, I'm going to apologize this week because shit just gets weirder and weirder and weirder and god damn it. I don't know who to blame for this. The, the final two stories this week. I don't I don't know. They're both they're are they both Florida? They are both Florida. They are both Florida. Fucking... This the first one of the headline, I dare you to make less. I dare you to make less sense. I fucking dare you to make less sense. Man huh. in a bull onesie attempted to burn X's home with spaghetti sauce. I did. Okay. What did I just say out loud? <laughs> I said a bunch but of did words. Did you see the first line? <sighs> Who's responsible for this? <laughs> Who wrote this? I, no one took a byline on this. It doesn't say. No one took a byline. Okay, here's... This is an Alan Smithy story. Do you want to hear the first line, everybody? Here it is. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> a story so saucy, it turned fiery. Yeah. I would have gone with somebody touch of my spaghetti. But that's just <laughs> me. Um, A man and his accomplice, he had an accomplice on this are behind bars and charged after they attempted to burn down his ex-boyfriend's home. Authorities in Daytona, Florida say one man was disguised as a bull in a onesie. Okay. When the pair broke into the home, stealing the victim's TV, AC unit, heater, and a vacuum. After taking the items, the suspect boiled a pot of spaghetti sauce and left a towel on the stove. The victim says he and his ex dated, but remained friends after the split, so he's not sure why he's angry. And this guy's got some grievances. Listen to this shit. I let him use my car for four months. Maybe he's angry about that. Or maybe he's angry I gave him $150 to fix his teeth. Maybe he's angry about that. The victim's camera alerted him the men were in his home. Then he noticed a towel covering the camera and proceeded to call authorities. He say he's he says he's thankful he bought the camera. Yeah, no shit. What do wow. what where do we unpack here? The That's bull some reality TV shit. The bull onesie. What the shit? 
Those don't cover your face. The point of trying to disguise oneself while attempting a burglary is to conceal your identity and be harder to spot. Yeah. A bull onesie kind of stands out. I want to know what kind of onesie the accomplice was wearing. <laughs> it was a footy pajama party. You think they were both wearing? Onesies? Yeah, were they the cow? Oh. And then, after he had already stolen all the things to try to make it look like an accident. What was the point of that shit? That still wouldn't work, because fire won't make your TV vaporize. <laughs> that's not how that's not how science works. Nope. I made your nart, but I am aware that fire won't vaporize your TV. No, it doesn't. That's that's not how science works. And why spaghetti? Like, why not just put the towel on the stove? Like, why just they, they had to make the? Why you gotta waste his fucking ragu on top of it? Why? I mean, if people are pointing out, I have a unicorn onesie. All right, number one, a fan gave that to me, and number two, it's not inconspicuous, is it? No. You'd fucking see me coming in that motherfucker, wouldn't you? Yeah, my devil onesie is more more inconspicuous than your unicorn one because and it has hot rod flames on it and uh, horns so yeah a onesie not a good way to just this entire and i love how just he is just tearing his ex up i know <laughs> <laughs> my dad i got him to fix his feet his teeth maybe he's angry about them <laughs> damn i loaned his dumb ass my car maybe he's angry about that and that begs the question, like, what is the fucking problem here? I don't know. I don't know. This entire thing is just, there are so many questions here. Yeah, like, they did a really shit job reporting this story because I am left with so many questions. I want an entire dateline about this story. Yeah. I want an hour. Get some in-depth reporting on this shit because I gotta understand. I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand. Which leads us to our final story. I also do not. I do. I don't. I don't. I, I don't. I can't. It's also from Florida. Oh, boy. Now, the headline is kind of alarming. I'll warn you. But we'll break it down a bit. Bomb-making equipment... <gasps> seized from Fort Pierce man after explosive detonated in city. Oh no. And you're thinking Unabomber, Austin bombings. Oh no, 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 no. It's, it's not like that. They, they, it's a little different. Let's, let's explain what actually happened. A man who crafted a bomb inside a whiskey bottle and blew it up on another man's backyard was charged with a crime Wednesday. We typically call that a Molotov cocktail. Oh. Scott Frag. That's why you drink so much whiskey. Yep. I thought it was just because I stressed you out. Both. Oh, okay. Scott Frederick uh, Wedgener, 55, of the 500 block of Wendell Road, was charged in possession of dis and dis was charged with possession or discharge of a destructive device. An anonymous caller Wednesday warned uh, Wedgner had detonated improvised explosive device and was threatening it again. Caller said Wedgner, nicknamed Spider, sure, was in a okay. dis was in a dispute with someone over the theft of a BB gun and had offered to pay a friend to crawl under the man's home to plant an IED. Invest. I know. Let's just pause there, shall we? Fortunate response this ain't it he took my bb gun so i won't shoot to blow up his house that's, that's the not, that's the code of the west that is a level of escalation that is inappropriate investigators from the st lucie county sheriff's office all responded to Wedgner's home Wednesday. They didn't find any bomb making equipment there. Only two empty Canadian mist bottles in a red golf cart. <laughs> Wedgner pulled up to the house on the golf cart. They began to hang out. Wedgner said he was going to kill the chickens in the yard. Wedgner went to his golf cart, retrieved a Canadian mist bottle, 
filled with black powder, sand, and a green fuse. Oh, okay, so it was a bomb. Um, investigators say Wedgener lit the fuse and threw the IED in the backyard where it exploded. So, he tried to blow up the chickens. What the fuck did the chickens do? Because the man stole his BB gun. Do you remember when we went, when Dan and I went to Florida uh -huh. and we learned that there was that elaborate loofah code? Yes. At the condo complex but, with like yeah. what, what color loofah you hung off your golf court yeah. would cart would advertise to everyone else at the senior community, what your sexual proclivities are. Yeah. What do you think a red golf cart means? Like just a straight up red golf cart. I with don't gun know. Powder. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> what is that guy into? I don't know. Fucking Just... clowns until they explode. I want I want you to peg me with this stick of dynamite I... and light it. He tried to he made a bomb to blow up the guy's chickens because he stole his BB gun. Like did the chickens steal your gun? Yeah, the chickens had nothing to do with this shit. They didn't do that. They... They're uninvolved. They're the, chickens. The chickens in this scenario are, in fact, Switzerland. Okay? Yeah. They are neutral. Yeah. This is going to sound like a dumb thing to say. The chickens ain't got no beef with you. <laughs> <laughs> so well, why? Yeah. why uh, oh, do you know how BB guns don't cost that much? They certainly cost less than anybody, anybody, anybody. A lawyer. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Those do those aren't cheap unless you get the state appointed ones. Yeah, that one's free. They still cost less than bail. Yeah, especially when you're and losing your job and freedom. Yeah, when you're throwing around things that explode, they don't tend to to, to let you out real easy on that one. Nobody thinks that's funny. No, nobody except him. <laughs> Blowing up the chickens. Well, not chickens. No, I don't like animals. Yeah. He wouldn't blow up animals. No. Nope. But he would blow up things. <laughs> yeah. And people. No, not people. Can we not say that on the internet? <laughs> I don't want the ATF at the door. You know, I'm looking at this guy and I'm thinking, the evil midnight bomber, what bombs at midnight, he's falling on hard times. Yeah. <laughs> He's had a rough one. He does have that Kmart Unabomber look about him. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? What? Escalation. The... None of the nothing makes nothing makes sense here. I looked I just love how he was prepared at a moment's notice, ready to go with a Canadian with a bomb made out of a Canadian mist bottle. Yeah, he's got that kit in his fucking golf cart. Oh. Just in case. So I, I guess I guess the first thing we learned this week is um, proportionate response. Yeah, proportionate response. If the cost of your crime and the resulting punishment is in fact more than the reason you're causing the crime, perhaps you should not cause the crime. Maybe reassess. Maybe just, it's just numbers, man. It's just, it black and white. You gotta run pros and cons. Get a calculator. So many people would not be in jail if they had a fucking calculator. <laughs> um, they probably do. I have a calculator on my phone. We've learned that, you know what? I think this guy kind of re redefines crazy X. Yeah. Uh, if you're... like, it's kind of a shame they didn't print his name so everybody would know not to date him. I, I, I'm wondering. He probably puts off that vibe. Yeah, probably. You know, I, I, <laughs> I would kind of say if. Uh, if your your attempt to disguise yourself for your crime involves bright and jolly children's costuming, 
I, I don't think you're quite getting into the spirit of things. No. Um, we've learned that this, the, you know what? I'm thinking about this guy with, with the, with the bicycle through it. The guy is like, I, I asked God for help. Well, I gave you a bicycle. I gave you a lake. I sent you a car. I sent you a car. I put you at the lake. I don't know what you want from me. Yeah, it's, it's learn to read the room. I think yeah. that's what we learned there. Learn to read. We've learned that don't act on every impulse. No. Especially the ones that tell you to steal a snowmobile. Yeah. We've learned that just because it has a little voice speaker attached does not mean you're going to get breakfast out of it. Nope. And finally, we've learned don't fuck with Rihanna. Fuck no. I don't think we needed to learn that. Somebody. I already knew that. A multi billion dollar country needed to. Uh, a country, company. Well, they're about the same thing these days, aren't they? <laughs> you don't get to fuck with Rihanna and you don't get to fuck with Beyonce. Nah, don't fuck with. Don't fuck Probably with. Probably you shouldn't really fuck with Oprah. Oprah, yeah. But don't, don't fuck with Rihanna. Yeah. I mean, shit. Did you see Rihanna what Rihanna doesn't give a fuck. Did you see what she did to Mad Mickelson? No. Oh, that video? You've never seen the, the Bitch Better Have My Money video? Oh, yes, I have. Okay. There you go. Got that that was him. There you go. But she doesn't give a fuck. No. She, she's like, I will take a billion dollars off your valuation and then... I will have brunch. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. And then I'm going to go buy like a whole couture outfit, which I will never wear because I can do that because I'm fucking Rihanna. Uh. Don't don't fuck with Rihanna. I want that kind of power. You do. Yeah, you should. I want to be able to just destroy people who displease me. You can destroy people who displease you, yet I talk about blowing people up, and suddenly we can't talk about it because the ATF will Yes, start. because you won't use that power wisely. And I'm talking about socially destroy. Oh, okay. Not actual murder. Why do I feel like I'm in Heathers? 